Welcome back to 16 News Now, Saturday morning. Now, Martin, I know we just teased a little bit. Are you going to try some poetry for us this morning? I'm, I'm a very, I'm a very right brain person. I cannot do rhymes at all. We were, we were, we were doing uh, over the break. We were all trying to rhyme, and uh, I think I was the one that probably did the least. Soon, out of all of them. noon, small soon, but noon. But you know what? I mean, let's just get into our forecast. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna start off with your extended forecast first, where we talk about the heat dome effect. And we had this a few weeks ago. It did cause us some pretty intense uh, temperatures. We had actually getting with heat in the season near 100 degrees now. This high pressure is going to stay off to our south and to our west. But the thing is, is as we get into our midweek, we're going to start watching this, this high pressure and this high pressure kind of combine right to our south as we get into our next Sunday. So this is not like, you know, tomorrow. This is our next Sunday that we're going to be watching pretty closely. This high pressure is expected to set right about there. And it's going to keep most, if not all of the U.S. above average as we head around the 8 to 14 day time frame. Here's your temperature outlook according to the climate prediction center. They are saying that we are going to be seeing some pretty intense temperatures as we head into that mid to late part of our August. So overall, it's going to be looking pretty warm. Of course, right now, not so much temperatures, mainly in your upper 60s to low 70s. Feeling pretty good. Not doing all that bad as we head out the rest of your morning. Of course, your weekend outlook looking pretty good. If you do plan on getting any of those outdoor activities done, probably after noon today, you're going to be golden now because we could be seeing a handful of those showers this morning. But overall, as we get into our afternoon, mostly clear skies are going to prevail. Temperatures maxing out in just around those low 80s come tomorrow. A couple more cloud cover, but we're a little bit more cloud cover, but the temperatures will be a touch warmer and we'll be steering clear of the rain chances all day long. So let's take a look at that future track. We are still seeing a little bit of those showers passing us by this morning. So again, just keep an eye out if you have any of those plans this morning. But if you this afternoon overall looking pretty good, temps will be reaching into those low 80s. So we'll be feeling pretty nice as we get to that warmest time of our day today. And of course, clearing out a lot of those clouds as well. If you're going to be checking out, uh, maybe doing some stargazing, I'll tell you about the reason why you should be doing some stargazing tonight. Looking pretty good. Clear conditions expected for that Saturday night. And even into your Sunday morning, just a handful of those high clouds. Temperatures will be in those low 60s. We'll get to the low to mid 80s as we head into that Sunday afternoon. Again, steering clear of most, if not all of the rain chances for your Sunday. So we're looking at the per the per seed meteor shower as we head into tonight and as we get into tomorrow night as well, steering clear mainly of those clouds as we head into both that Saturday and Sunday night. Unfortunately, we're both going to be going away from the meteors as we head into our Monday night, but also gaining some cloud cover. So we're replacing one shower with another shower. Just one is a little bit cooler uh, than the other little rain showers. So again, we are paying closer attention uh, to those meteor showers as we head into both tonight night and your Sunday night. So overall looking pretty good. 10 day forecast. We are looking at the rain chances as we get into that Saturday again just this morning. Just a little bit of a chance for those showers steering clear of the chances we head into that Sunday Monday. That's the next best chance for rain sitting around 40% if we have a passing system. Noticing the temperature is also going to drop off a little bit into the mid 70s as we head to both Monday and Tuesday. The next next best chance of rain is going to be on that Thursday. But after that we're kind of dropping off the rain chances and gaining some temperature by the time we get to our end of our 10 day forecast, it's expected to be in the mid to upper 80s and the humidity also starting to build a little bit. So we could start seeing maybe heat in the seas reaching for 90s.